What's going on you guys? Pretty exciting day today. Got some pretty cool, um, I guess, late Christmas gifts uh, that came in. Uh, it's a ETC. Uh, some of you guys might know what it is already. Um, my son got it for me uh, over the Christmas and it just arrived and uh, pretty nice surprise. But um, an ETC, is an electronic toll collector. So in Japan, there's a lot of toll roads where you'll need this card. It's convenient, you just install it in your car or in their car, and uh, you just prepay the amount on a card, and you put the card inside the electronic reader, and every time you go through a, uh, a toll booth, you don't have to stop, you just automatically, it senses the, uh, the reader, and it uh, automatically deducts it from the card. Pretty cool. Uh, the cool thing about it is um, we don't need it in Canada here. Uh, it's just a nostalgic thing. It's kind of cool where when you start your car up and the uh, Japanese lady starts talking, I don't even know what, what we're going to find out what it is today. But first off, we're going to unbox this and see what we got inside here. reader itself pretty cool you guys set that aside here wiring harnesses shoes I don't know what this, know what this pad is here. some zip ties and of course the microphone like a sticky pad and instruction books in Japanese so first things first uh, I'm gonna figure out where I'm going to um, I guess install this so you kind of want it to like be seen uh, normally you, you don't want it to be seen like if you're like living in Japan well, that's what I think anyways but for here, it's for, we're gonna show it off. So I'm kind of thinking maybe in here or something like this, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, something like that. Um, I'm gonna want run the wire and the speaker first to see exactly where we want that to uh, go and then go from there. All right, here you go guys. So I uh, zip tied it so it's, Nice and neat. Give it a little bit of slack so I have enough to uh, reach the um, ETC unit. And then I uh, got myself a fuse tap and uh, tapped it in. Pretty simple. And then now I'm going to just use a little bit of electrical tape to uh, make sure there's no uh, shortage. There you go, looks nice and neat. And we got our ground wire. So it's pretty simple, ground and fuse tap, five bucks. And let's get started. All right, so everything is installed. Unit's all nicely uh, wired up. Wires are all nicely tucked. Camera, I um, mean the microphone. Fuse in the fuse box, fuse tap, okay. Moment of the truth, you guys. Huh? Oh, fuck. I forgot to plug in the battery. <laughs> so we ran into a problem. Um, the fuse tap didn't come with a fuse, and I plugged everything in. Everything should be up and running already. So I guess there's a lot more to it than. Um, you know, the fuse tap, I thought, you know, honestly, I thought it was something pretty simple. Just find your ground wire, find your positive, tap it into your uh, auxiliary or your hot wire or your constant and plug it in and away you go, put a fuse in. Honestly, it's a lot more than I thought. So I'm going to put a, a link up top here. Uh, guys, check it out. There's a lot more to 
the fuse tap than uh, straightforward plugging and cutting and splicing. So do check it out, you guys. It's a uh, pretty uh, good information. So off to the auto parts store to get a fuse. It's amazing something so simple like a little fuse like this can stop your your whole project and its tracks. Um, but we got one now, and I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna put it in, and then uh, hopefully uh, it works. Here we go. All right, round two. Try it one, one more time. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> She's saying, but we're gonna find out. All right, guys. So we're gonna use Google Translate. To see uh, what the Japanese lady says. She says that I should get a haircut. She says, did you guys hit the subscribe button yet? <laughs> Just kidding. So all she really does, uh, she says, because we're hitting this, uh, the volume button, it just controls the volume. The other button tells you the registration of the, uh, the uh, ETC reader. And when you initially start it up, it tells you not to forget your card when you uh, drive your vehicle. Here you go guys. It's so crazy, something like that. It's so simple. It's so satisfying. That mod is like, um, has nothing to do with power or anything like that, but it's just so satisfying you guys. If you guys have a JDM car and it already has it in there, keep it you guys. It's right now, it's, it's, it's hot, it's trending right now. It, like every guy or girl with a JDM car is starting to have that and uh, wanting to install it. So if you guys have it, you guys are lucky, it's already in there. Like I said, right now it's, uh, it's a trending thing, you guys. So if you have it in your car, bonus, you guys, keep it in your, your guys' car. If not, go get one right now if you can. If you can, um, they're hard to come by. Uh, other companies like uh, Import Bible, has actually made their own um, little melody box, or they call it a melody box, but it's more geared towards like, uh, you can customize it uh, when you turn it on. Um, looks pretty cool. I'll put the link below or up top here. Uh, go check it out, you guys. But if you wanna be like OG like me and get the authentic one, pretty easy install. Uh, it was a little harder to come by, but yeah, you guys, go get yourself an ETC. Uh, card reader Ugh. Just gives it a little more of that JDM feel every time I'm gonna hop in that car. Let's give it one more time guys. Let's try it again Oh yeah All right guys Thanks again for uh, joining me in this week's vlog. Don't forget you guys Smash that subscribe button and uh, turn on the notifications. Give me a thumbs up. Hope you guys really enjoy these kind of vlogs. It's kind of nice and simple right now. Hopefully uh, I can do a lot more. Uh, maybe some engine mods or some more car parts. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, you never know. 
All right, guys, hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, it was kind of enjoyable for me. It was actually pretty fun. Thanks to my son for uh, gifting me that for uh, Christmas. It was very, uh, very meaningful. And uh, see you guys in the next week's vlog. See ya. Like